Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program that prints binary tree in two dimensions. First, let us take an example. We can see that the rightmost node is printed in the first line and the leftmost node is printed in the last line. Also, space count increases by a fixed amount at every level. So, we do a reverse in order traversal and print tree nodes. Now, let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 1 and space which we initially take as 0 to function print 2d util. Now, as root is not, we set space to space plus count. Now, we have initialized count to 10 in the header file which is not shown here. So, space will now be 10. We will be processing the right child first. So, we pass the right child of 1 which is 3 using a call stack. Again, as root is not null, we set space to space plus count. So, space will now be equal to 20. We pass the right child of 3 which is null. Hence, root will point to null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Now we print current node after the space count. So, we run a for loop from 10 to 20 and print space 10 times. Then we print 3. Next, we pass the left child of 3 which is null. Again, as root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for node 3. Execution for node 1 is resumed and now on a new line, we don't print any spaces as count is equal to space. So we don't enter the for loop. We will print root. Next, we will process the left child. So the left child of 1 which is 2 is passed. As 2 is not null, we set space to space plus count. So, space will be equal to 20. We pass the right child of 2 which is 5. As 5 is not null, we further modify space to space plus count. So, space will be equal to 30. We pass the right child of 5 which is null. Since root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Now on a new line, we run a for loop from 10 to 30 and print space. So space will be printed 20 times. After that, we print root. So 5 will be printed. We pass the left child of 5 which is null. Again as root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call and execution for node 5 is over. Now on a new line, we print space 10 times. After that, we will print 2. Next, we pass the left child of 2 which is 4. As root is not null, we modify space to space plus count. Now we pass right child of 4 which is null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Next, on a new line, we print space from 10 to 30 times. So, we print 20 spaces. After that, we print root. Next, we pass the left child of 4 which is null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the call stack and finish execution for node 4. Execution for node 2 is also over. We have the final binary tree printed in two dimensions. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.